fear the spread of waterborne illnesses like malaria. More than 120 people have died and 100,000 homes have been damaged or destroyed. The government says more than 700,000 people have been affected by the rising waters and the trouble is far from over. Mohamed Addo is in Khartoum and says there are fears that disease will spread. The latest is that the government has uh, revised the numbers upwards. Up to 700,000 people have been affected in 17 of the 18 states that Sudan is composed of, says the government. And people in many parts of the country are not happy with how slow the recession of the flood waters have been, mainly due to heavy rains pounding not only Sudan, but also the highlands of Ethiopia, where Lektana, the source of the Blue Nile, is further pushing more water into this uh, tributary of the Nile, which has been uh, mainly responsible for the flooding we've seen in the past weeks and months. So uh, we're seeing a situation where there are also stagnant waters lying around almost everywhere in those 17 states, and there are concerns that there could be outbreaks of diseases like malaria, chikungunya, dengue fever, all of them called, caused by the mosquito, as well as diseases like cholera and dysentery because of thousands of pit latrines being destroyed during the floods and emptying their contents into the floods that are still lingering in most parts of Sudan.